فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير عجبا لأمر المؤمن فإن أمره كله له خير The Prophet ﷺ says, amazing are the affairs of a true believer. All his matters are always full of goodness. All of them. He's never upset. In asabathu sarra'u shakara, fakana khair Allah. When goodness comes in his direction, he is thankful to Allah. So it's, it was better for him because it brought him close to Allah. How many of us, when goodness comes to us, we draw closer to Allah? If we don't, we are not true mu'mineen. Because the hadith says, li amri mu'min. Amazing are the affairs of a believer. So if we are not, if we, if if we have a promotion at work and a salary increase and we have millions and billions, our business deals are going right and we've bought the cars we wanted, the houses we wanted, the luxuries we wanted, the perfumes we wanted, the accessories we wanted, the adayas we wanted, whatever else we wanted, we've got all of that. But it did not bring us closer to Allah. Then we have lost. We cannot call ourselves true believers. We might be believers, but not true believers, because this hadith says. When goodness comes to the direction of a true believer, you find him thankful. It brings him close to Allah. Shakar. A shukr means a person who acknowledges the gift of Allah by worshipping Allah and obeying Him. That is the meaning of shukr. To thank Allah, to acknowledge from Allah by obeying His instruction. Imagine someone says, Oh, I thank you Allah, but you are not dressed properly. That's not thankfulness. Imagine a, you give a person a million dinar and... They say, thank you very much, thank you very much. And they know that you don't like, for example, uh, let's, let me give you a simple example. They know that you don't like sour milk, for example. It's just a thumb suck, just an example off the cuff. And they come to you after you've given them a million dinars with a whole pint of sour milk and tell you, please accept this as a gift. And you're so upset. But you know I don't like this. You know it's bad. That's one example. The other example is, imagine you give a person a million dinars and they come back and throw eggs at your house. What would happen? Is that gratitude? But they've told you, thank you, thank you, really I appreciate it. Their mouth said something, but their deeds are showing you something else. Why do we do that with Allah? When He's given you your life, your breathing, your eyes. Your eyes can see without a little knob on the side focusing somewhere. No, your eyes can see absolutely everything by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are automatic focused. Your ears are for automatic. You know, you, you can hear without having had a knob on your earlobes, trying to twist it around like it was an old radio that people used to listen to. No, amazing. And yet we are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where are we? What is happening to us? We are losing focus. We don't even know, we don't even realize. So my brothers and sisters, it's important for us to understand when we make a dua to Allah, when we call out to Allah through His gift, sometimes He will not give us what we want because He knows that it's better for us. Don't become upset. The ending of that hadith says, وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ ضَرَّاءُ صَبَرَ فَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُ A true believer, when something negative befalls them or reaches them or touches them or they are harmed by something, they are patient, they are forbearant, they persevere, they don't lose hope. So it is better for them. It's better for them. What's better for you? It's better for you to be patient. Don't ever question Allah. Ya Allah, why me? Why did my child have to go? Why did I have to suffer this cancer? Why did I have to be affected by AIDS? May Allah protect us all. May Allah grant us cure even miraculously. Amen. Why did I have to be this? And why did I? No, don't ask that question. You thank Ya Allah, if this is what you want, if this is how you want me to go, I do not compete with you. You are my maker. But I ask you to cure me through your mercy and your power. That's the proper way. Ya Allah, if this is how you want me to go, I'm not going to compete with you because you are my maker. You made me in the first place. So you, I belong to you. You own me totally. You own me completely, Ya Allah. But I beg you to grant me cure, Ya Allah, from this disease I have. I mean, that's the way we should be looking at it.